In this lecture, we'll take a look at the demo of workflows. So what we are going to do is we are going to create, deploy and execute our first workflow using the cloud console. So the workflow sends a request to a sample API and then uses the response to create and send a request to a public API. And the workflow then returns the public API's response. So first step, go to cloud.google.com, make sure you're in the right account, otherwise click on the top right corner to change into your correct account. Let's click on go to console. So we need one API for this, namely workflows API. So let's go into APIs and services library, search for workflow, workflows API, go into workflows API and let's enable this. Now let's go to the workflows service. I'm going to close this window here. Click on create to start a workflow or create a workflow. We can give whatever name we want, description, region, all these things I'll leave as it is. Service account, if nothing is there, just use any of the service accounts from the drop down. and click on next. And we will just keep the sample code as is. So if you go here, you can scroll down and you can see the flow of the sample. So you can see that it is trying to see if there is an input from the terminal. If there is an input, it's going to try something, but otherwise it's just going to get the current time and then it's going to call read, Wikipedia, read Wikipedia and then return the output. So basically, if you look at the code, it's going to get the current date and using the date, it's going to give us some facts from Wikipedia about the current day. So today is Sunday. So let's see what happens if we deploy this. Okay, so the workflow has been deployed successfully. So there's no executions yet, uh, but you of course have source where you can go back, change this. You can zoom in and out of this flow as well. That's a nice feature. You can go into details to take a look at some of the details around this workflow logs. Once you start executing, it's going to populate the logs, but we are more interested in the execution. So let's click on execute. And we are not going to give any input. We are just happy to execute as is. And the workflow has been executed. Okay, so it has taken Saturday, not Sunday, because it's taking the server time. I'm based in Australia where it's 8.54 a.m. on a Sunday, but that's still, I believe, uh, still Saturday in the US. So it's using the time, time where the, this resource is located. So as you can see, these are the various articles that are a return from Wikipedia. So Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Fever, so on and so forth, including a song called Saturday Night as well. That's pretty cool. We used our workflow to actually get data back from Wikipedia. These are all from Wikipedia. Okay, so, so clean up, let's go back to workflows. Let's go into the workflow and we can click on delete. We have to give the workflow name. So we have deleted the workflow. Let's go and check whether any resources have been created. Nothing has been created, so all good. So that should take care of all the resources that we have created for this project. So that was a quick demo of workflows. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture.